Welcome to PC Wits Kids Tech Talk. Today I wanted to talk about the Windows Vista gadgets. We've seen them in um, on the Mac OS X, we've seen them on Ubuntu for example. Here I have them installed in Windows Vista. I installed a couple of default um, gadgets or widgets depending on how you want to call them that uh, uh, come with Windows Vista and some I downloaded and installed separately. So uh, first things first, have you installed it? Have you uh, enabled the, the sidebar at all yourself? Um, to add more, you click on the plus sign here and it opens up the uh, gadgets window to show you the default ones and a few that I've added already. So it's very simple to uh, just add a gadget to your existing sidebar. You just drag and drop it over to the sidebar wherever you want to position it and then let go and then there it is, right? So that's how you add a, a gadget, it's quite simple. Um, when you right click on it you might be able to adjust options or of course the opacity the transparency of it and you could always drag it off of the sidebar so that's one thing that people don't uh, don't necessarily know that you don't have to have these um, running on it and you can always uninstall it if you don't need it right just right click on it and uninstall so that's the first thing I wanted to talk about the uh, next thing is what type of uh, widgets do you have or gadgets do you have that uh, are useful to you right so CPU usage I use that one a lot here's an RSS feed um, widget that I have installed of course uh, this one is pointing to my uh, PC WizKids Tech Talk um, blog and I have all the um, the feeds for uh, my blog being displayed there so you can always subscribe or add the RSS feed to, uh, to the blog and then you can see the latest articles appearing and scrolling by. So um, these are the common things uh, that you can add and of course if you don't want it displaying you just click on the X if you want to access the tools or options you see a little you see a little icon there of a wrench and then when you click on that wrench then it comes up with the, um, the properties. Now if you go down to the uh, bottom taskbar you'll see the Windows sidebar icon. If you right click on that and you go into properties that's where you can enable or disable this from appearing you see so if you don't want it to start up every time you, you boot up into Windows Vista then uncheck it right and then you can always uh, have it on top of things or underneath it right so if I check it to be on top obviously after I apply this change now whatever window I put it will always be underneath it and the sidebar will be always on top right I usually don't like that so I'm going to disable it and put it back to the way I had it uh, of course you can have the sidebar on the left, on the right, if you have dual monitors for example, a couple of monitors connected, you can specify which one you want. So those are a couple things that you can do and um, you can always get more gadgets, right? So when you click on the get more gadgets on that window, it takes you to the Vista Gallery Microsoft.com website. So it's a Microsoft uh, supported website that has top downloads and top rated um, gadgets that you can download and install right so let's just go here down and click on the top Vista shutdown control uh, gadget right so when we click on that one it tells you a little bit about it and obviously these are free right if uh, you see a gadget that is asking for money then obviously you know stay away from it um, when you click on download you'll be able to um, install it all right so you click on the install button after you read carefully the instructions or any information there and um, and let it open it up with the Windows sidebar by default and uh, you'll get a pop-up security warning just let it install and as soon as you install it now on the sidebar you can see that it put that new widget which allows me to restart lock or shut down uh, shortcuts to um, to the to the Vista and if I go into the properties you can see I can change the background of that uh, gadget right so I put a light gray one there and um, it's pretty easy uh, to set up and of course like I mentioned earlier you can drag these out of the um, sidebar they don't have to be on the sidebar and you can get rid of the sidebar altogether right because you need all that additional space on your monitor so just move all those widgets out of there and um, basically close the sidebar right so now you've got more space to uh, open up your windows and leave those those gadgets on your desktop so now for example here I have Firefox running I'm looking at my blog and I want to see those gadgets well I can make them appear all at once by using the Windows key and the spacebar so if I press that key combination you can see now the widgets appeared 
uh, and then I can do adjustments, look at them, see what I need to see, and then if I click outside of those, then they go away, right? And then we're back to uh, browsing. So there you go. These are quick, easy how-tos on using the Vista gadgets. I hope you enjoyed this video, and thank you for watching.